guys. Uh, I was thinking about this video yesterday, but I don't know, I guess some bolts had to be compiled prior. Innit? It's uh, another beautiful day in London City. Very cold, I love it. And what I wanted to talk about was how much gratitude I have for my upbringing, for my parents, for my mum, for my dad, especially my mum right now. That's what I was thinking about earlier, like yesterday. I bounced with you lot. I basically cried yesterday while I was praying because I was thinking about this. Because I don't know if I told you though, it, but I was working in a prison for a little bit. I met a lot of people, a lot of people my age, a lot of people very similar to me. Same upbringing, North London, same everything. And what was the big difference between me and them? What do you think it was? The biggest difference between me and them is simply my, my parents. Man. That's it. That's the only difference. We had the same environment, the same environment. My upbringing meant I didn't turn out like them. 100%. And it's primarily because, and I used to hate. I used to hate this, I used to hate how it was like this, I felt so lonely in it, but it was primarily because my mum wouldn't let us out on the states and just chill in there all the time. I guarantee that is what made my life so different from those people I saw in prison. Yeah sure, there are some like proper crackheads in there, like proper fucked up people. Uh, psychopaths, sociopaths, whatever. But there's people, like I talk to people that were literally, that are just me. They're me. They're basically me. It's the same person. It's just they, they're like intelligent, they're kind, they're nice people. And they just got into the wrong shit. They got into quick money or all these other things. And yeah, I just have gratitude that Especially my mom, she just kept us away from all that, man. And I used to hate that so much. I used to hate how I felt like I had no friends or whatever. Um, she wouldn't let us go out, like go on the estate, go to the park in the estate. That's what I mean, like, you know that little park that's around the estates that, if you're from London, you know, man, there's like these parks in the estates, little parks with a slide and some swings and stuff. And that's usually where people chill end up meeting undesirables, I guess. But yeah, she kept us out of that. And I just felt so bad because I used to hate it. I used to, I didn't hate her, but I hated that she did that. And now I'm realizing how fucking important it was. Because it's fucked up out there, man. It's proper fucked up. Like, how quick people can just fall into nothingness and garbage. And once you're in, bro, it, it's so difficult to get out. The amount of times, the amount of people who said, yeah, I want to stop, I want to stop, I don't want to be back here. And I know they're going to be back. I know it, man. I just see it. I know, I know, I know, I know they're going to be back. And I know they're going to be back because... I know when they leave, they're going to the same place they were at before they came. So they will be back. And that's one of the reasons I don't work there anymore. Because I don't, I didn't like seeing that man. I just didn't. But yeah man, I'm grateful for my parents. Grateful for my dad, for my mom, for our upbringing. 
we, we avoided so many bad things and that is one of the biggest lessons I guess nobody fucking takes gratitude or very few people take gratitude for the stuff that didn't happen for the things that were avoided and it's even like even your boss at work he will never congratulate you on the preventing stuff like even where I was working I prevented multiple 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 conflicts and they you you never get it like no one even notices things like that it's only when things happen that's when people start noticing take, paying attention prevention is the biggest biggest thing that people don't think about and it's probably the most important thing in life being able to prevent things being able to foresee what might happen and preempt it with acts but yeah I'm grateful for my upbringing and I'm grateful for my parents I am grateful I woke up really sad today because this is all because I realised how fucked up I was in this regard but yeah I'm grateful for my parents my upbringing I'm grateful for my mum uh, I'm grateful for the chats I can have with my mum about how uh, just about Islamic stuff like, she just teaches me things that and then it leads me on down paths that I can look into and learn um, she just taught me things like yesterday she taught me about how you can't let yourself get corrupted if you, if you feel like you're surrounded by bad people you have to stay on your path you have to try and do good as best you can don't act like these people Easier said than done, I must say. But so important, man. We were talking about how I made a video about this before. We were talking about how people live, and die, and then once they die, they're just forgotten. That like immediately, so there's no point. There's so, there's so many things. There's no point in doing in regards to other people. There's no point caring what they think. There's no point trying to make them uh, like you, uh, respect you even. Although the respect can have some benefits right now, but in the long term it really doesn't matter, man. Because well, I had a... It's my mum's aunt, so I guess a great aunt. She passed away from Covid. People would send me like... Her aunts. It's like, it's like she didn't even exist, kind of. Like, she's just forgotten now. Like, she's barely brought up, she barely thought about. And I know that's... I, I know that's normal. I know that's how things work. I know that that's the... Like, we're kind of built for that. Like, when uh, somebody above us passes away, we understand that was coming. And we accept it quickly. But it's still an eye-opener. And yeah, that's it. I'm grateful that I can have these chats with my mom and more chats to come inshallah